Hi folks. Buzz Campier here, with some tips to help lighten your load on the trail. Bicycle camping isn't new. I've been enjoying it for over 30 years. The rules are the same for any type of ultralight hiking or camping. Keep your weight to a minimum, and do your best to store heavier items down low in your pack. And while the basics haven't changed over the years, the gear certainly has. Modern materials have made it possible to trim your base weight and venture further than ever before. For this video, we're riding a 1000 watt mid-drive fat tire bike. It has plenty of power to get us up any steep terrain and a good cargo rack for our gear. I've made a few modifications. A mirror for highway miles. And a pan-ear trunk bag combo set from Amazon. It may not be the most rugged choice, but they do the job, and the price is great. There are also a lightweight air pump and a Gerber saw strapped to the frame. I've added a bag to the cargo rack for an extra battery, in case I need to extend my range. It's actually just a camera tripod bag, secured with nylon strap so it doesn't shift around. The battery for this bike weighs 10 pounds and definitely affects the handling. Best to leave it home if you can. The bag on the rear of the bike is a handlebar bag that holds some smaller, everyday items. Mostly emergency gear. The kind of stuff you hope you don't need, but don't want to leave behind. That frees up the other bags for camping gear, and gives me peace of mind in knowing that those items are already packed, and I don't need to worry about them. Inside is a biohazard bag with some tissues for toilet paper, and a really basic tool kit. Just the Allen wrenches I need for the bike. A few zip ties, patch kit, and a mini multi-tool. There's an ultralight day pack if I want to do some hiking. A USB cable, and a rag for greasy repairs. A cheap plastic rain poncho and a box with some first aid and survival gear. Inside the box are some insect repellent wipes, some Gorilla Tape rolled flat, some aspirin, and one stronger painkiller just in case, a Benadryl, and some antacids, a mini compass and an LED light, some cotton bits soaked in petroleum jelly, which make an excellent fire starter, a backup USB cord, actually, just an adapter, a single-use super glue, and a sewing kit. Both of these items can be used to temporarily patch your gear, or yourself, if you are unfortunate enough to get a bad laceration. Not a recommended treatment, but it could make the difference in getting you out of the forest and into the emergency room. A pencil and sharpener seems like an odd thing to bring along, but the shavings make excellent tinder. You can also shave a twig in much the same way. Even if it's wet. Some emergency matches and a Bic lighter. Always a Bic lighter. And not a mini Bic. Bic lighters can be dried out very easily. Even after being submerged. You can even use it to start a fire after it has run out of fuel. But that's for another video. The bottom is filled with alcohol prep pads, bandages, and tape. Some water purification tabs. And a non-lubricated condom. Which can hold a good deal of water in a pinch. So that's just the stuff we hopefully won't even need to use. Now let's fill up the bags with some camping gear. For water I carry the bladder from a hydration pack. Rolled up inside is a Sawyer mini water filter and a couple of extra bottles. I can hook the filter to the bladder if I want and let gravity do the work. My mess kit is kind of a Frankenstein thing because I can't find one I like. The bottom is a non-stick aluminium pan. It's pretty heavy, but I like to have at least one non-stick pan for eggs. The top is a titanium plate that I use for a pan or sometimes a lid. Inside are some dollar store tongs and spatula. Some olive oil. An SOS pad. A titanium spork. And a titanium stove from Esbid. It uses a proprietary fuel, but I just use twigs instead. It's very handy if you just want to heat a cup of water and don't want to start a big fire. I also bring along a titanium cup for drinking or for cooking small side dishes. A titanium grill rounds out my cooking gear. I carry a Gerber STL that weighs in at just 1 ounce. No more or less than I need, and no gimmicky survival tools. I sleep in an Eagle's Nest Outfitters Sub 6 hammock that weighs less than 6 ounces. Now I know I probably just lost some of you who think that sleeping in trees is for the birds. But consider that my entire shelter tips the scale at just over 1.5 pounds. Even the lightest tents require bringing along a ground cloth or even heavy trekking poles. I don't miss the extra bulker expense of a tent, and I sleep like a baby. The suspension system I made myself from some nylon straps and a pair of whoopee slings. The Rainfly is a bare butt hammock tarp. And my sleeping bag is a really inexpensive pod system. It's not rated for cooler weather. 
but I usually pack thermal underwear anyway. My toiletries are really basic. We are camping after all. A small vial of toothpaste and a flossing toothbrush. A small chunk of soap and some deodorant. The deodorant is packed in an empty lip balm container. I've switched the label so I don't accidentally put it on my lips. It weighs less than half an ounce and it's adorable. So there's no excuse for stinking on the trail. I also bring a small chamois towel for bathing. And a rechargeable headlamp. If I want to pack extra light, I leave the electronics at home. But the advantage to e-bike camping is having power on hand if your battery has a USB port. Another option are these keychain LED lights. Hanging a few around your campsite can be more efficient than a single lantern. I also have a little music player I like to bring along, but it's definitely a luxury item. So let's add it all up. In order to make a fair comparison to a typical ultralight hiking rig, I'm not including the weight of the bags or any tools that are proprietary to the bike itself. Just the weight of our personal gear. The tissues and rain poncho are 3 ounces. The first aid kit comes in at 5.6. The daypack USB cable and rag weigh 4.8 ounces. The hydration system comes in at 5 ounces. And the cooking gear at 20. The sleep system represents the bulk of our weight at 57.2 ounces. While our toiletries are barely noticeable at just 2.4. Toss in our electronic gizmos at 8.7 ounces and we get a grand total of 106.7 ounces or about six and three quarter pounds. Well within the category of ultralight and bordering on super ultralight without sacrificing any comfort. So have we forgotten anything? If you think so mention it in the comments below. Seems like there was something else. Oh yeah, the boat. Actually, an inflatable pack raft. It will compress inside a 20 liter dry bag, which makes it easy to carry and weighs just 6 pounds. That might knock you slightly out of the category of ultralight. But hey. You brought a boat. And at the end of the day, it's not about the weight in your pack. But how much fun you can pack into a weekend. Thanks for watching and join us again when we put our gear to use. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.